She came to Ed when everyone believed she was gone. Her form, once his favorite animal, a chicken, was stolen away by death's grasp, and she was not ready to rest. She missed out on the one aspect of life that was more binding than all else, and knowing Ed's love for the domestic fowl, she is the ghostly human form of spell, vowed to fulfill the opportunity that seemed way more than lost. Ed, as carefree as he usually is, discovers her transparency. However, he does not mind. To him, she is still the prettiest chicken he ever met, and the one he will come to love even more. He will bring her spirit to life, even if it meant taking risks. Bring Me to Ed by Darken Sparrow. Copyright. Or, that's an... At 2010. You want to see one of Ross' chickens, yes? Chickens! Spell is my newest in my family of fowl. She has sparkled my eyes since I found her by the creek. I thought you would want to see her, Ed Boy. <gasps> she is so beautiful and sweet! Can I hold her, Rolf? Certainly, four-eyed Ed Boy. After all, you are no longer a duck. Goodbye. Oh boy! Hello, Spell! My name is Ed! You are the most beautiful chicken I have ever seen! Can I kiss your forehead? Why do you insist on kissing the forehead of the domestic fowl? You show her human affection and she will cling on to you the same way the blonde girl that belongs to the friend Kevin does. I think she really likes me, Rolf. Oh. Hmm. Hey, Ed! Which chicken are you romancing with this time, hmm? Eddie, this is Spell! Rolf's newest chicken in his chicken family, and she is the most beautiful chicken in the whole world. You think? She's the only one with white and whatever color that is on her. And what are you doing, Ed? Spell is very tired, Eddie. I'm gonna place her back in her bedroom full of hay and tuck her in. Later that night. The next morning. Spell, you haven't clucked since yesterday. Did the egg boy give you the common cold or even speechlessness from the kiss to your small forehead? <laughs> Farewell, my dear Spell. Never again shall you cluck in your grace. Never again shall you scratch the dirt to polish your nails, and mark my yard as rightfully yours. Never shall you find your first mate among the roosters, who would have been the blessed fowl to watch over you carefully, and never again, Rolf, will I never see the beauty of your rare feathers in the sun. Farewell, my dear spell. Rest in peace, for the son of a shepherd will always mourn the loss of his hen. I offer my deepest condolences for this abrupt loss. He's such a wuss. Let's get out of here before he starts bawling like that time I told him no on making a scam. Eddie, we can't just leave him out here like that. He'll freeze or even camp out here in this forest for the rest of his life. Stay close. Uh, I didn't want to leave. 
Rolf was gonna put you in the river so you could float away. But everyone wanted to visit, so he buried you. I see. Rolf would have wanted to visit me also. That might have been his reason for the normal burial. The last positive memory I remember from before was when he pecked me on the forehead. That was a first. You're still the most prettiest and sweetest chicken spirit I've ever met, Spell. And you are a very unique and likable individual, Ed. I enjoy seeing you smile. You sound like my friend, Double D. He'd say something like that, but you say it better. I missed you. A beautiful dark scene. Haha. <laughs> yes, Ed's wearing a wig and an odd outfit. I was in Halloween mood. However, this is part two of my Bring Me to Ed ordeal. Enjoy and look for the comic. Are you all right? You fell asleep by Spell's gravesite. <laughs> Hi, guys. I saw Spell. She is so beautiful and glowy, like and quiet, just like her chicken self. We hung out all night in the forest by the ponds, and I hugged her more than once. He, <laughs> I feel so fuzzy, guys. Did you kiss her, Ed? <laughs> Uh, Ed? Double, double D? D d do something! I don't like that face! Rub, 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 rub. Ed, now that you're back, maybe last night's expedition might have been what you call a hallucination. You may have saw a human version of Spell, but she wasn't really there. Mmm. <clears throat> nice going, Sockhead! Edward, from page 27 of Bring Me to Ed, I bring out the dark side of Ed. Enough said. That's why he shouldn't mess with dead chickens, XP. A little philosophy. It is hard to anger the mountain, but when it is angry, it makes the earth shake. In other words, Ed is very hard to make angry, cause he is such a lovable oaf, but we all love him still. But when he does get angry, get the blankety blank out of the way. Why did Ed wander off after making that glare at you? Mm -hmm. Ed said he s saw a spell in human form, and I told him my theory of s his seeing her. Shame on you, Edward. That comment was absurd. And someone like him should never have his dreams crushed! You need to apologize! Dames! Neither of them can figure them out! But what can I say? Even Ed has one! She's a chicken. She's real double dick! I saw her honest and for truly! Spell! Double D told me you weren't real! I'm so confused! You see me, don't you? You, Ed. Look, your friends won't see me yet. It shouldn't matter if they believe you because you know who you're speaking to and romancing with. I feel all warm and fuzzy when you speak to my utter spell. Your heart's very large. I'm sure many know that. Unfortunately, some people... Humans sometimes lack emotions as strong as yours. The guy who sliced my neck apparently can't feel a shred. <clears throat> who saw that? Those wild eyes frightened me to a point. I could use some of my magic, but I'd be given away. Your magical? Of course. If you want, 
I can show you what powers I have. I get to see magic from the most beautiful chicken spirit. A spirit is something humans and animals both have, Ed. I don't want you to think differently of me. My death has already traumatized too many. <sighs> you know what's happening right now, don't you?